What's up guys, Mr. Slint here, and I'm here with another TF2 video. Uh, what I'm gonna start doing is taking questions from the audience, taking questions from the comment section, and answering them here in my videos. So today's question comes from Wizard Engineer, who asks, hey Slint, I have a question for you in a future video. Do you think you can talk about crosshairs and or crosshair switchers and how to use slash set them up? Happy to help you here, Wizard Engineer. So for those of you guys who are not familiar with crosshair switchers, um, it's basically a script that you can put in your game and the script is totally legal. Don't worry, be worried about like, oh, is this a hack or something? Like this is a totally legal script that you can do for the game. Um, and what it does is when you, when you switch weapons, it'll automatically change your crosshair for you. So for example, for me personally, um, on my sniper, I like to use a red dot but when I'm on soldier, uh, I like to use a yellow plus sign. And not only can you customize it on a per class basis, but within each class, so within soldier specifically, I say, when I pull out my rocket launcher, I use a yellow plus sign. But then when I pull out my shovel, I'm gonna get a red circle. And you can, there's so much customization you can do here. A lot of players at the top level of the game are using these scripts because it's just really helpful generally to have. So what I'm gonna to do today is walk you guys through how to set up a crosshair switcher. And what I've done is gone ahead and in the description of the stream below, you'll see a link where you can download a basic config. And here's the config that I've opened up for you guys. It's my real config. I've stripped away all the noise, all the stuff that you don't need. So if you want, you could just download this and install it right now and it'll work for you. But before you do that, I wanna like walk you through how to set it up. But where you would install it, so after you download it, you install it to uh, your program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF. And then in the TF folder, you're gonna see a folder called custom. Inside custom, you wanna make a folder, it doesn't matter what you call it, mine's called Slim custom stuff. You open that folder up and you stick the CFG folder right inside there and it'll begin working for you. So next time you boot up the game, it'll automatically ex execute all these scripts. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, open up the, f the folder, you'll see that I have about, I have 11 files in here. Nine of them are for the default classes. So you got, you know, Devil Man, Engineer, Heavy, Medic, you guys can figure all those out. Basically, when you're in game and you switch to the Medic class, it'll automatically load everything in the Medic.cfg. When I switch to the Pyro class, it'll load everything in the Pyro.cfg. And so that way you can customize these crosshairs on a per class basis. But if you're lazy like me, what you're gonna wanna do is just edit this one config that I call default config.cfg. Uh, because you can see, like, let's say I open up the demo man one. At the top, it says execute default config. And so basically that way you can just execute one, like one file, and it'll automatically edit all the other nine classes instead of having to edit each and every one and copy paste it over and over again. So that's just for convenience. Um, also, you'll see that there's a bunch of other stuff in there as well. And these are, these are my, my actual files like these are my actual config files if you want i know some people are curious and they want to know what i'm using um so this is actually like what i really use when i'm playing the the little slashes that you see in front here this is called commenting when you comment online like this when you add two slashes uh it makes it so that the computer when it's executing the script will just skip those lines so all the stuff it's it's going to get skipped and it's only going to execute these three lines here um so if you're interested, you can uncomment these lines and use what I use. Uh, otherwise, let me just walk you through how the default config is set up. So you open up default config. Oh, this other one here is called default crosshair before, before I hop in. Default crosshair is an extra file that you need if you like to use the default crosshair. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how to use it if you're interested in using the default crosshair. Most of you guys probably are not. So let's hop in default config.cfg and uh, you can just open this up in your basic notepad editor. I'm using notepad++, but the default notepad uh, will work just fine. So this is broken up into three sections. The first section is what I call the definitions. This is where you set the commands um, that you want to execute a certain crosshair. The second section is what I call the binds, and that's where you bind the keys that you want to those commands in the first section. And the final section here is what I call the queue switcher. 
And the Q switcher uh, is very special. What it does is it makes it so when I hit Q, it only swaps between my primary and secondary weapons. Because typically when you hit Q, it switches between the last weapon used. And a lot of times I don't want to pull my melee weapon out. So I have this Q switcher here, which will skip the melee. It'll always pull out my primary, then my secondary. Um, so let's break down the first section here for the definitions. So I'm setting what's called an alias. Um, an alias is whenever the computer sees this word, it'll automatically execute this set of commands. So weapon one is my primary weapon. That is my sniper rifle. That is my rocket launcher. That is my syringe gun. And then uh, you have to put it in quotes. So when I have weapon one, it'll automatically pull out slot one, which is your primary. Slot two is your secondary. Slot three is your melee. Then it'll use crosshair file seven. And um, if you go to your, open up your TF2 game and you go to the options, under the multiplayer tab, there's seven different custom crosshairs that you can use. And that's what this maps to here. Is you say, I'm using crosshair seven, which is the uh, plus sign. Then you set the color, uh, you set the size. So crosshair scale is 39. Uh, you can set any size you want. If you set it too small, it'll actually be invisible. So it has to be over a, a baseline size. I think it's like size 20 or 22 or something like that. So as long as it's bigger than that, you can kind of adjust the size. You can make it huge. You can make it the size of your entire screen if you want to. Uh, and then the next three commands are the colors. So if you're, again, under that multiplayer section, you'll have those, those three sliders for red, blue, and green. And uh, zero means there's nothing. And 255 is the maximum. So this is a red crosshair for me. Uh, and then our draw view model one means I'm turning my view model on. This sets the FOV, which sets the size of the view model, which 54 is the default. And then MW1 and MW2. And that's my crosshair switcher that I showed you earlier. As you can see in the crosshair switcher, MW1 will change my Q to be Q1, and then MW2 will change my Q to be Q2, and Q1 and Q2 correspond with weapon two and weapon one, so that when I hit Q over and over again, it changes the bind for Q. So the first time I hit Q, it'll pull up weapon uh, two, and then the second time I hit Q, it'll change the bind so it pulls up the weapon one. So that's the definition section. The next part is your binds, and the binds, you can set them whatever you want. I use one, two, three. I don't like using the scroll wheel when I'm, uh, when I'm changing weapons, but you can set it to whatever you want it to be. Uh, and then the reason why I have uh, slot four and slot five is because you need those for engineer, because you have to build and destroy your, your buildings. And then also for spy, where you're pulling out your, your little disguise book. So that's what those are for. And bind Q is my Q switcher. So the last command you'll see here is it says weapon one with nothing on it. And that's because when I switch to my class, I want it to automatically pull out my primary weapon. Uh, this is like a really old school command. You probably don't need it anymore, but I have it there just so that when I spawn as pyro, it'll pull out the flamethrower as the first thing. Um, so that's basically all you need to know for setting up these commands. It's pretty easy uh, to set it up, but if you have any questions, post in the comments below. And let's talk about the default crosshair. So let's say you wanted to use a default crosshair instead of all this command, like this is all just for the custom crosshair. If you just want to, uh, if you just want to use default crosshair, I'm going to do this on a new line so you can see it. Just delete like all this stuff. Uh, and I don't think I explained what semicolons are. Those will separate each of the commands so you can keep it on the same line. But all you type is exec default underscore crosshair dot CFG. And what that'll do is it'll execute the default crosshair. Uh, I have that already set up for you in here. You can see it's a blank crosshair. That's, that automatically sets it to default. And then it sets the default size and you can change all that here. You can, you can make the default crosshair green if you want to, for example. So I think that's about everything you need. Wizard Engineer, thanks for submitting the question. Hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below. Also, check out my Discord channel, discord.gg slash mrslin. There you'll find a community of other people who are looking to get better at TF2, and you can chat with me directly. So I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thanks for checking it out. Bye.